This is Defender Build Part 3. But it's got a mid range transmission and that thing sucks. Yeah. It sucks in the low gear and it sucks in the high gear. Got a little bit done in between that Dad done this week. Got it all bent down. Cut to shape. Still got a lot of grinding to do on it, but not much. I'm going to put in a couple of pictures here for you can see. But going to finish grinding it. Then we're going to put it back on the machine and get started on the speaker boxes. But so far, it's coming out really good. But like I said, a lot of grinding to do. All right, finished welding the top. I like it. Well, let me rephrase this. I like the back a lot. Back turned out great. It looks flush. This part of it. The sides, kind of iffy about. But I mean, you really can't see it, but I can see it. If I can see it, then it ain't right. We might try to finish stitch welding them like go back and forth keep the metal from shrinking and stuff and expanding too much but so far this back i mean it's it's money for sure but then you get to the sides and i don't know it kind of seems half-assed when you start looking at the sides but it's straight it's straight for sure. Welded the roof completely, flipped it over. Now we're doing sheet metal from here all the way down to here. And that's where the speakers are gonna go. And then sheet metal level and rolled down to here, level with this, all the way back. And that's where the amps are gonna go. Then the, run the wires underneath have a nice clean look but you'll still be able to see all the amps distribution blocks fuse holders it's going to come out pretty good but you know this is probably this is the kind of help we get on and half on the ground about to get his ass. <laughs> All right, working on this speaker box. Got everything marked out. Made 51 inches from edge to edge. Cut out for the center, for the wires, and the other box is going to go down through the center. That's 12 and an eighth.
this all welded up for the speaker box. Well, most of the way. Doing these little cutouts here. I think I got it pretty much exact. I mean, it's pretty close. It's got to sit in there a little bit. Already got them traced out. About to cut them out real quick. Got the box built, got the holes cut, but we ran out of steel tube in here and sheet metal. I'm gonna go to Home Depot to see if we can't find any. Found some metal at Lowe's and Home Depot. It was high. Spent about $90 on this stuff right here. Well, we didn't think we was gonna find what we needed to make racks for the amps, but Found scrap metal laying around. That's enough for the front in there. And I still got to put some in the back and found this piece here. You know, still got to be buffed out and everything. Get rid of all that rust. But ain't nothing a good paint job can't fix. Putting one inch above the three quarter to make it sit higher, look better. And it's all going to be bolted in. But it can be unbolted, wires ran through, be a lot easier, simpler that way. Got all the center railings done. Don't worry about the paint, it's fresh. But got all those rivets in there for down the center. Sorry I couldn't show us putting it on for y'all, but it's, it's half-assed done. You know, it's not where it needs to be, but it's definitely usable and I love it. Still gotta paint these amp racks here, down to the back. And got a bunch of wiring to do, but that thing is slick, I'll tell you. Oh, I love it. Just 
definitely different. Well, it's part way done. Man, that thing looks good. The brow's a little low, but I think if I just chop the seed a little bit more, it'll be good. But still got a whole bunch of wiring to do. I'm just gonna get there. Well, it's been definitely a trying weekend, but it's been good. We got a bunch of work done. Got the cage back on the side by side. Still got a lot of work to do, especially on the wiring. That's that's just gonna take some time. But I just wanna thank my dad, Philip Anderson, because without him, I wouldn't have had none of the equipment, none of the know-how, and he really knows just how to get it done. So then Aaron, my fiance, and Chris Sawyer for helping me chop the factory cage. But I'm finally back on the road. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Get some light for you. That's not the best, but okay, it'll work. Just had a flat tire, head back to the house. But that's the end of part three. Thanks for watching. Deuces.